I can't. Oh no! <laughs> I'm Carolina and I would say I have very thin hair and like wavy curly hair. And I have really thick, pretty straight hair. As you can see, it is pretty straight naturally. I do have to blow dry it to get it to this level of straight. Usually when I don't blow dry my hair, there's like a slight wave to it. My hair type, it's very frizzy. It can get kind of dry. So like sometimes once a week, I'll do like a deep conditioning treatment. Since my hair is relatively easy, I would say I use like cheap to medium range stuff most of the time. But a lot of the products that I use are like to give my hair more volume because since I do have straight hair, it gets like kind of boring. I use the Brio Geo brand. It's a little expensive, but I don't really mind it because I feel like I like to splurge on like skincare and hair care. So for five days, we're gonna be using super cheap hair products and hair tools. And then for the next five days, we're gonna be using expensive hair care products, which I'm so excited about. And we're gonna do this to see what's worth it and what is it. Also, all the items that we're using, whether it's cheap or expensive, are super highly rated. I'm most excited to try out these Dyson products because I've heard so much about their tools and like the price point is so high that I feel like there must be like revolutionary or something. Shall we get started? I'm really excited today. I'm gonna to be using the Aussie Curls and then the coconut shampoo. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, get rid of all this, and then I'll come back to shave my routine. So let's keep showering. We're gonna put this over. Right off the bat, first impressions, I do not like how either of them smell. <laughs> Usually I blow dry my hair to give it the volume, but since these are specifically volume products, I'm not gonna blow dry my hair this whole two weeks. Okay, real test for conditioner is if I can brush through my hair without it stopping from knots. So let's see. Okay, L'Oreal. Oh, ooh. So first I'm gonna take the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Leave-In Conditioner. This much is good. I love how this smells so much. I'm gonna brush my bangs forward. So this is all day humidity, protection, and frizz control. Humidity here is out of control. I feel like this is not enough. We'll do this much. Oh, see, that just like came out of nowhere. And scrunch. And scrunch up here for volume. I used to have like straight hair for like years. Someone told me that guys don't like girls with curly hair and that like ruined my self-esteem. When I started my second year of college, I like really started appreciating my curly hair and I started like taking care of it more and like learning how to do it properly. We're gonna start out with a Conair hair dryer. This comes with a diffuser. Looks like a device from Spickable Me. I'm gonna put it on starting with the low setting and then just trying to just dry my hair. I definitely wouldn't call this uh, balloonness. Um, it's it's pretty pretty flat. Honestly, it looks like when I don't wash my hair for like two days. So this is what my hair looks like post drying it. Um, I have these little little curls right here. I feel like it's kind of frizzy, which I don't know if that's the Con Air or if that's the products. So obviously the next time I wash my hair, I'm not gonna blow dry, I'm gonna air dry it just to see what's causing the frizz. All right, it's the end of day one. Usually by the end of the day, my hair still looks like perfectly fine to be quite honest, but like today it looks like way more flatter than usual and it's getting like this weird, I don't know, it just looks like kind of pulled down. Happy day two. Um, It is currently like 11 a.m. I just finished working out. So as you can see, I've got <laughs> a nice layer of sweat on me. So um, we're definitely gonna put the shampoo to the test today. All right, so I'm gonna be using this frizz serum thing because a lot of time I actually do have a frizz problem. Like my hair is really straight, but sometimes it kind of just like comes. Okay, so the first cheap product that actually I enjoy the smell of she smells like watermelon. So I just woke up and this is like literally how my hair woke up. I feel like it's so curly today. Once a week, I do deep conditioning in my hair. So for that, I'm gonna be using the Not Your Mother's, put it in my hair for 10 minutes. And I'm gonna air dry today. I'm not gonna blow dry. So we'll see how it goes today. Okay, call me crazy, but I think my hair is actually more frizzy today when I use the anti-frizz thing than it was yesterday. My hair is usually pretty straight. The only time it isn't straight is if I sleep on it wet, which I'm planning on doing later because I have a cheap straightener and an expensive straightener. So when I'm trying out the cheap straightener, I'm gonna be sleeping with my hair wet. This is what my hair looks like air dried. It's not as frizzy today. I feel like with the products that I've been using thus far, 
It's day two that the curls are a lot more prominent. I really like how it's been looking so far, so. Before we start, we need to go in with this and hopefully, even though this is cheap, it'll still actually protect my hair. It smells nice. Ow. <laughs> All right, so see how long it takes this thing to heat up. I'm gonna put it on like the second highest heat. This is gonna take like four hours. My hand is shaking, my arm is so tired. Literally an hour and a half later, I literally had to recurl again, the bottom layer, like some of the pieces were already falling. So not a great sign. Okay, she's really starting to fall. We got like three good hours, but like some of this is like this, that's literally straight. Not super great. All right, it is the end of the night and I pretty much have fully straight hair. So it's my last day washing my hair with the cheap products. I don't really like the shampoo. I feel like it makes a lot of buildup in my hair and I hate the feeling of buildup in my hair so much. I also like that you, this cord can like go farther or longer. So this is one of the pieces that it came with. And then we go to... I'm just gonna brush them. And then I'm going to take the herbal essence mousse. I'm going to add the diffuser. You see how I like it's starting to get kind of frizzy? I'm gonna now do it high setting but cool. It kind of like shoots it and it like scares the follicles so like they close up. That's what I've been told to do, so. I slept on my hair so it's got this wave to it. I'm gonna be using this straightener and I'm gonna use the same heat protectant that I used when I was curling it. Literally this kind of feels like a toy, I'm not gonna lie. It definitely smells like burning hair. You can see like the difference, straightened, not straightened. It definitely is doing its job, but the smoke that's coming off of this thing is very alarming. There she is, all straight. I think just for my hair, I need to be also adding a frizz serum. It's just super out of control and like super kind of frizzy. So it's officially the end of the cheap product week. And honestly, it wasn't that bad. The curling iron was probably where it really fell off. Um, I did have a lot of problems with that, but like the shampoo and conditioner, other than the smell, honestly fine. I'm super excited for the next week. It's officially Expensive product week. I am so excited. I feel like it's Christmas right now. Seriously, this looks like an alien machine. This is the diffuser. Um, it comes with a little instruction manual that I'm definitely going to be reading because I don't know how the heck to use this thing. This is obviously like not a full size, but this conditioner, the full size is $30. And this shampoo was $45. You know how many coffees I could buy for $45? So I'm gonna hop in the shower right now so I don't look like this. I'm gonna use the Sublime Curls Shampoo and then I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite conditioner. It's the Briogeo Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. Okay, so we're doing the brush test that I put the other one through. It's already all brushed through. I have never used that small of an amount of conditioner and definitely never had it be this Smooth. This is looking very promising. Boy, does that shampoo smell expensive. That's got some cologne on it or something. Also, this towel feels a lot better. The other one, it would get soaked super easily, and this one just doesn't. I also just love this little button detail. Like, it's so Coraline-esque. I'm gonna be applying the Boucleme Curls Redefined Curl Conditioner. Oh my God, it smells like green tea. I quickly put a shirt on because I had a towel on, but you couldn't see it. Alrighty, now we're gonna do the AG Hair Care Cloud in Natural. Oh. oh, this smells like citrus. It feels so nice and soft. This looks like I should be in like Stranger Things or like Ghostbusters. It's recommended for like to use the diffuser to use the low settings for both of them. So I'm just gonna turn it on. Wow, that dried my hair so quickly. Like it even like dried my bangs. Like that's how good it was. I just got home. Um, I honestly spent the entirety in the city. My hair is a little bit frizzy, but it is exceptionally soft. You know, after you go to the salon and your hair just like feels different. That's how it feels right now. My hair is still frizzy, but if you notice, not as much. And I'm gonna attribute that to the Dyson doing its vacuum business in my hair. We're gonna use 
this super skinny serum, which is like an anti-frizz humidity resistant. It says to just put one pump into damp hair. This smells exactly the same as the other one. <laughs> so we just got back from our little nature adventure. <laughs> And honestly, my hair held up so well. I was outside for like maybe two hours in literally 80 degree humid weather and it looks perfectly fine. Today I did an air dry. So I used the expensive products and I did not use the Dyson. My hair turned out super nice today. It was 28% humidity, if you would like to know. 107 degrees. I'm thoroughly enjoying the products and the results of how my hair is looking right now. Oh. My god. This device will actually measure the heat 40 times a second to make sure it never goes above the desired heat. You take this pre-styler, we pop that on the first attachment. I'm gonna use this until it's about 80% dry and then we're gonna go in with the other tools. Even though it does check the temperature so many times a second, I still wanna put some heat protection in. So I'm using this Bumble and Bumble. Oh, there she goes. This is not like a normal hair dryer where you would hold it far away from you. You just put it directly under your hair like this and then it manages the airflow, dries your hair a little bit and gets it ready to be styled. Next, we're gonna use this rolling brush attachment which just basically smooths the hair out. Since I have long hair and it's pretty thick, I'm gonna be using the longest and thickest barrel. Yeah, I'm gonna just pop that on. There's arrows and it just like blows air like in that direction. And then just like, oh. Hold on, and then you just pull it. Oh my God. Okay, and then he said do a cool shot. So now it's like blowing cold air. And, oh my God, I can literally imagine touching a curling iron like it like burn the out of my hand. Please. I'm confused. Wait, <laughs> wait a second. Drag it up. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God, what the hell? Okay, so as you can tell, the lighting has very dramatically changed um, because it's been like over an hour and a half. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I think that the air app is so cool. However, it was so hard to figure out how to actually make it work. Like once I got the hang of it, she was amazing. And I'm gonna go get ready for my days. I just got home and it has literally been nine hours since I curled my hair. Before noon, I curled my hair. And it's 9.30 and it still looks like this. Like, in what world? So today is the last day that I washed my hair with the expensive products and I'm gonna be using my Dyson blow dryer today. As you can see, I slept on my hair what was wet. So it's definitely not all the way straight. And I currently have the Dyson straightener on this charger. I think the main difference for this straightener from other straighteners is that like the plates, they like bend to your hair. You can see this, but like when I push it, like those plates don't just stay straight the way that other straighteners do. This ends all fired up. The Dyson. Sailor Moon bangs. Oh, she's smoking. Oh, oh look straight to me. Oh my God, the smoke is alarming. Complete. Now we can put her back on the truck. Love that sound. Didn't burn myself at all. That's always good. I'll check back in later. A little life update. My hair looks exactly the same as it did whenever I strained it a couple hours ago. My hair is straight, but I am not. <laughs> so this was an incredible like two weeks. I am gonna have to say that I love the expensive routine a little bit more than the cheap routine. I think like honestly like for the heat protectant and the antifrizz serum, I didn't really see a difference. The coconut curls shampoo from Organics, like it really had a lot of buildup in my hair and I didn't really like that. I think the ones that stuck out to me were for sure the expensive living proof conditioner. I definitely loved the shampoo in the expensive routine. The Dyson products? were insane. Definitely the Dyson blow dryer. It's so crazy how good it is. Like I, I'm like shook. I definitely understand that a lot of people just can't really afford that. And I am one of those people, honestly. It was a super cool experience and I'm glad I got to find some new products.